How Sabrina Learned the Properties of Equality by Stephanie Aaron. Hmm, properties of equality. What you doing? Homework. What is it about? Equations. Equations? What are those? An equation says that two things are equal. An equation uses an equal sign. Oh, what do you need equations for? You use equations to solve problems by using properties. Properties? What properties? The properties of equality, silly. What are those? Well, you already know four of them. I do? Yep. Addition, subtraction, mul multiplication, and division. Good. Those are the four most important ones. There's more? Uh-huh. Three more. Reflexive, symmetric, and transitive. Okay, how do I use them? Hold on. You have to know them first. Oh yeah, what are they again? The first one is reflexive. The equal sign acts like a mirror so that the number reflects itself. For example, 5 equals 5 and 8 equals 8. Well, duh, 5 equals 5. That's easy. Good. Then we have symmetric, where if A equals B, then B equals A. Here's an example. What is the decimal form of 1 over 2? 1 over 2. That's written like this. A half, right? Yep. And decimal form is when you write a whole number, then a point, decimal point, followed by numbers to show that it is less than the next whole number. Oh yeah, 1 over 2 in decimal form is 0 0.5. Good. Now, are 1 over 2 and 0 0.5 the same thing? Yeah, they both mean half. Exactly. So it's safe to say that 1 over 2 equals 0 0.5. Therefore, 0 0.5 equals 1 over 2. Okay, 0 0.5 and 1 over 2 are symmetric. Yep, now the next one's a little tougher. Transitive. Okay. The transitive property says, if A equals B and B equals C, then A equals C. I will write it down so you can see what I mean. I will definitely need an example of this one. Okay, so I showed you five over two. Can you write it as a mixed number? I think so. 5 over 2 is an improper fraction, right? Yes. An improper fraction is a fraction where the numerator, the top number, is greater than the denominator, the bottom number. You can also say it is top heavy. Oh yeah, and a mixed number is a whole number and a fraction combined. So far so good. So how do you write 5 over 2 as a mixed number? Let's see. 2 goes into 5 2 times, and then I have a remainder of 1, so 2 and a half. Great job! Now how do you write 2 and a half as a decimal? That's easy. 2.5. Yep. Now, is 5 over 2 equal to 2.5? Yeah, because they are both equal to 2 and a half. Exactly. 5 over 2 equals 2 and a half. And 2 and a half equals 2.5. Therefore, 5 over 2 equals 2.5. So that's the transitive property? That wasn't too bad. Good. You just learned the properties of equality. Cool. Thanks. I'll let you finish your homework now. The end. Some definitions come from mathisfun.com. Images can be found under Google Images. The words selected are from Prentice Hall, Algebra 2.